Amanda from the Queen of Lean and today we wanted to take you through a technique video on how to do a single leg glute bridge. So we are slightly obsessed with strengthening glutes for a number of reasons because it helps to protect your lower back and to create good strength but also because you like to look good in jeans and have good shape in your booty. So I've got my coach Siggy here with me today and she's going to take us through the technique for this. So a lot of the time you can do single leg variations really to help um, you know, target each side individually. What we find is a lot of the time our clients can have a bit of what we call lazy ass syndrome going on and that could be happening with both glutes or it could be just happening with one side. So what we want to do is target each side individually so that you can balance out those weaknesses. So what you need is a box to set up on and then going down, lying down onto the floor, also a mat as well. Um, and then we're gonna go into your typical glute bridge position with your feet elevated. So you've got your knees at a 90 degree angle, palms are face down. And then one of the most important things with glute bridges is that you engage through your core first before you do anything. So what that is, is thinking about lifting through your pelvic floor, imaginary zip, drawing in, draw your belly button towards your spine. What you should feel is that your back flattens into the ground and that your stomach actually gets skinnier. So once you've achieved that position, you're then going to squeeze through your glutes and then drive your hips up. So driving through and then coming down. At the bottom, you're gonna reset your core and then drive through that heel, push up and squeeze. So the main thing is that you're really getting that full um, hip opening at the top so that your glutes are coming all the way through. So if Siggy goes, just go a little bit shorter with the range. A lot of the time people cut their glute bridges about here, but we really wanna get that last bit and squeeze and activate all the way through. So if you're not activating through your core, you will overwork through your lower back. So we really wanna avoid that so that you're targeting through your glutes. So this is a great exercise to pair in with um, lower body exercises. You can do it at the start of a workout so that you're switching your glutes on before you go and do squats or, or any of the other leg exercises. But this is amazing, as I said, for making sure that you're targeting your weaker side um, so that you're not dominating on, on one side or the other. So I hope you found this video extremely helpful and we'll see you very soon.